morning. It looks like it's going to be a real sunny, nice day today. Um, we've got some cattle going a little bit later. Probably get a bit of mucking out done. And then whatever breakdowns or disasters happen all the way. Um, if you do like this sort of thing, it really does help us out if you press the like button, sends it out to more people and all that business just really helps the uh, channel out. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. It's free. Right, shut this gear. We'll get on with doing some feeding. Andy's already started. He's on the 130. Putting the straw about. So we'll take a look in the shed. We've got plenty of meal, so we don't need to do a mix yet. So my first job will be jump on the TM until my dad comes out. We'll get some feeding done. Right, so we'll get back down this uh, line. Really need to clean the windows on this. It's getting a bit mucky. So I'm just waiting for Andy to get round so we can go in the pens. I'm gonna blast this off because these windows are really doing my head in this morning. Andy's coming in now. He's gonna blow some straw into these guys. With the Teagle Tomahawk, nine, 500. So I'm just waiting for Andy now. I'm gonna let him in some of the gates. This is the meal that we feed to the cows. As you can see, it's got a lot of um, straw and hay in it to get the room and working properly yeah they do really like it and because it's mixed together they can't pick and choose because if they wanted to they would just leave all the straw in here and just eat the barley and the molasses and the good stuff so having it all mixed together all tastes the same every mouthful's the same every cow's getting all the vitamins minerals um protein Everything, everything's right in every mouth. Right, we've done it again anyway. Drawing, drawing, drawing. Chewing that mail to pieces, getting the fan and blowing it out across the yard wherever it needs it. I compact it. As you can see, cows are very chilled about the situation. Morning, Andy. Morning. What's that? I know, I know. Well, it, what is it to say? Like, start the day? I don't know, an hour in the morning. Is yeah, something like that, isn't it? Yeah, that's always the best one. I think that's quite true. An hour in the morning's worth to win this. So somebody let us know what, you, what your phrases are for that. Because me and Andy, are, we've not woke up enough yet. Yeah, I thought that possibly the cattle were going this morning. Um, I didn't liaise with my dad about the timing. And so we just came in early. Where are you? I don't mind. And he's loaded up again. So we've got two or three more bales to put out. Andy! Yeah. I have our international parcel. Yeah. All the way from near Washington, Germantown. It's near Washington, near, is it Baltimore? Baltimore and Washington close together, I think. And if you remember from yesterday's video, Andy just reminded me now, he won the opportunity to video me opening the parcel. What a prize, Andy. That is a prize, I'm excited. Yes! <laughs> Oh, Andy, this is like very, very well packaged, I must say so. Oh, oh. We've got cardboard. You know what? It's a good job that I um, sharpened my knife on the grinding stone the other day, Andy. Did you see that? Yeah, your Stanley knife on the yeah, grinding stone. Yeah. Tight Yorkshireman, couldn't change his blade. <laughs> oh, look at this. Exceptional wrapping. I can't run my knife straight on the It's like my drilling. <laughs> oh, she's full. Oh my goodness. Right. So we have. 
Nice. Nice. 90 pieces, Andy. 90 pieces. That's just what we need. What's that? Is that 80 my way? Premium chocolate assortment. Oh, 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 this is good. Oh. Chocolate covered peanuts. Oh, nice. oh yeah. I like them. You need a bigger trailer. <laughs> Should have done it in the bucket of the telly, Hello, Max. Oh, yeah. well, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate nuts. Creamy milk chocolate covered macadamia. Mm. Macadamias? Yeah. Threes. Mm. Yeah, you can't get them, can you? You can only get the cups, can't you, in the UK? Yeah. Mini bag. I look at. I like how healthy this uh, selection is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Big Mick's still on his diet. Ooh, nice. Oh yes. More chocolates. Uh, this will keep us going, won't it? I think so, Andy. I think this is yeah. good. Oh, what we got in here? Honolulu Cookie Company. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Kate. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Very, very much. Um, wow, all the way from America, all that stuff. Just yeah, generous. Very generous. Just to, wow, yeah. Thanks everyone who watches. <laughs> and thanks to Kate. It's coffee and American chocolates time. I was not expecting this. Look at them. Oh, beautiful. I've said thank you to Kate, but I forgot to say thank you to Rob. So it's Kate and Rob Duffy who sent these. Sorry, Rob, forgot about, forgot about thanking you earlier. Me and Andy have been doing lucky dip with the party pack. You've got a Butterfingers and a Crunch. Lucky dip. I've got, oh, I've got snap. the same, snap. <laughs> if it's all right with people, we might change this from a farming channel just to me and Andy eating stuff. Um, we've found a new passion for food. So we're just getting a few more cattle out now. So we got Mix here and Andy with a Massey. Massey's coming off the way bridge now, he's got a good load on. Mix opened his uh, back door up. So that's Mick out of the way. And we'll get the Massey backed in. Both on blue trailers today. Andy's just putting the weight block on the 215 gonna go and shift the tri till so he wants to get into some straw and it's in the way so first time the weight block's been on this uh, new tractor forward a bit down a bit Andy yeah you're on at this side so Andy will lift it up and then I'll just lock it on Right, it's all locked on. I'm going to give Andy and Anne to um, to get it on. You don't know how to get it on. <laughs> um, I get worse. Backing in, looking windy. Well, it's coming along nicer. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm. So we're having a look. If we press these buttons. Oh, Andy, hello. Hey? There you go. Don't be saying that with that mask on you. With that what? With that mess on you. <laughs> My unclean overall, you mean? Right, okay, so uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Okay. So I got it on, that is spring, it holds the weight of it quite well, so I was like, Andy, you're going to have to come and give me an hand, because this is going to be heavy. But, um, right, so it ma makes it manageable. 
Anyway, it's on. So Andy's just um, shifting it off now. See the flex in the tyres? They are the um, BF tyres on that. So you can run them at very low pressures. So you can make them look like the flat. So Andy's taking some stuff around the back now. We're going to be getting these girders here and cutting them down and welding new plates on them. Then they're going to get painted and they can go for the new shed. So we've just fetched some of the girders round now. So we're going to cut those down, take the bend out, because the bends are near the bottom. And there we'll do for the new shed, all nice and painted up. See, it's not rust coloured, but it's nice and green. Ben's turning up for dinner, eh? Can't be bad. Plenty of cutting, welding, banging going off here. Cuts going on, but the mass is back in the yard. Twin flashing beacons. There we have it, getting back onto the way bridge. Right, I'm going to be taking these guys in the lorry now. Andy's car parked in a different location to normal. Got a call in Trip and Farm Services as well, so we might uh, get a little glimpse of that on our way back. Well, it's busy here at Trip and Farm Services. So I've been inside, I have my uh, expensive piece of metal. While we're here, we'll just have a quick look around the yard. Big tanker. Little tanker. We used to run one of them for a potato washing plant. Big 8370. Huge. Ah. Oh, and an 8R370 on wheels. Nice, eh? What a beast. That has one huge nose. Massive. What do you reckon? We've got a lot of big tractors on show at the minute, so which is your favourite? Tracks? Or no tracks? You know what? I think I'd go for no tracks. Yeah, that would be a beast. Some smaller machines as well, you know, a small 215. They're only little, aren't they? Compared to that 8R they are, anyway. Beast. Yeah, it'd be nice to see that 8R in the yard, wouldn't it? Doing a bit of work. A bit too big for us, though, I think. And this is about as much as I can afford. So um, let's get back to the, uh, to the farm and get some work done, I think. While I'm thinking on about machinery dealerships, I think it's RMV at Love Assault. Doncaster are having a open day tomorrow. So I'm not saying that I'm going, but if I can, I'll be there. Um, right, we need to get set off. That's a da -da -da -dong of the daft. Everybody who drives a draft will know that sound. Right, I'm back in the yard and um, I thought these guys would have finished by now, but there are still about. Ben's getting rid of another leg. So them guys are getting the last few posts welded up. I'm not sure if they've done them all, if we've got a couple more left to do another day. Um, I'm gonna get on with doing a mix over here and um, get it towards finishing time, hopefully. And he's already gone. He's gone to take some pictures, I think, of his merch that will be coming out. Um, I don't know when it'll be coming out. I'll just leave it up to Andy. In the next few days, I'm sure. Before I start this mix, I just want to wish John Holt a happy 60th birthday. Um, thank you very much for donating to Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Um, well over 4,300 and some. I can't quite remember the total, but um, absolutely brilliant. Um, happy birthday, John. If anybody else wants their name on the mixer, then there's a link in the description to every one of my videos. Business. Ben's pulling in the 130. 
I'll go and get the TM, we'll get that in the shed. That's everything away in the shed now. Ben's just shutting the gates. It's about tea time, but I am so full of American chocolates that um, I don't think I really need any. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, like another month. I'm going to be super sized, definitely. Especially when nice, I had a kebab last night as well. So they look good. Yeah, they're very good. Little things, so you eat like loads of them, and then yeah, it's not like having one big chocolate bar. You're like, oh, I've, yeah, I got oh, I'll four. Have five of them. I think we had six. Yeah, I had six. Went a bit crazy. But yeah, if you've liked it, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you've not already, and um, me, Andy, Ben might even be here tomorrow. Um, we'll see you tomorrow.